Hey there everybody, it's Ryan from Cataclysm Now, and tonight I just wanted to take a quick look at the map for Mark Herman's Pacific War, published by GMT Games. Still in the process of uh, digesting the rules, punching some of the counters, um, and quite frankly just been poring over the map um, in terms of its uh, detail. Um, and I thought I, this map is exquisite, I love it, just because um, not only is it Hex Encounter, but it affords a lot of uh, attention to detail, um, which I think for a game on the scale, even though it's strategic, um, it is quite impressive. Um, obviously, you can see it's, um, it's Mammoth, um, and it does cover essentially all of the Pacific Theater and all the major... Uh, sort of zones of combat and, and where the, the major campaigns took place. Um, and you'll notice that uh, the orientation is a little bizarre um, in terms of it's not the normal um, north-south orientation that really we start uh, in the west here. We've got uh, Hawaii and Pearl Harbor, Oahu, and we're facing you know, sort, of, uh, sort of west or southwest. And over the expanses, um, we've got the, the important island groups um, where the Japanese set up their defensive perimeter. Um, and then we've got uh, Guadalcanal down here, Australia, um, where the southern conquests happened, and then China, uh, Indochina, uh, and India. So I'll go ahead and uh, get closer and just give you a little tour of, of sort of the major um, the major sites of battle, the places that we know, and, and the attention to detail um, that they gave uh, to the map. All right, we'll start where the war began, and that's in the Hawaiian Islands. Pearl Harbor there at uh, on the island of Oahu. And then we've got the rest of the Hawaiian archipelago ending in Midway here, obviously. Um, the large carrier battle that happened there. And then sort of to the north here, uh, we've got the Alaskan uh, archipelago. Uh, we've got Atu Island where there was, uh, where the Japanese landed and some really, really fierce um, infantry combat there. Uh, and as you can see the places where they had air bases, uh, we've got Dutch Harbor and then uh, Anchorage over here. Uh, if we swing to the south, we've got uh, a couple island groups. Um, and we've got sort of the two, ma uh, two major island groups here. We've got the Gilberts, uh, which Tarawa, which is a pretty costly naval landing uh, by the United States Marine Corps. And we've got the Marshall Islands here. And if we keep swinging further, um, we've got the important, that's where Guadalcanal is, the Slot, uh, Bougainville, and we got Rabal, which is sort of the Japanese, um, the, the primary Japanese uh, base uh, in the, uh, at the tip of the Solomons, and then Port Moresby, in which uh, they tried to seize uh, the Coral Sea. Uh, we got the northern shores of Australia. We got Darwin here, major raid in early 42. Uh, I've got the rest of New Guinea. Uh, we'll kind of pull over here to a couple other island sets here. We got Peleliu, uh, the Palau Islands, uh, and the Caroline Islands. We've got Truk, and then the Marianas. Uh, we have Japan and Guam, uh, and then yeah, I can't forget Wake, uh, the heroic uh, USMC defense. Uh, in December of 41, doomed, but heroic nevertheless. And I don't know if this is errata or if I'm just missing if uh, Bonin uh, is um, uh, another subset or name for uh, Iwo Jima, but that's where Iwo Jima is. I uh, kind of had to figure it out just based off of um, reference and, and where it is in between the Marianas and uh, the home islands. We'll get to the home islands here. Uh, in a second, uh, we have the Philippines, 
uh, so the main primary island of Luzon, Manila, uh, there is Corregidor, and then we've got uh, Sumatra, uh, Borneo, Java, um, etc. Swing around here and get a little closer. Uh, we've got Singapore, British stronghold. Um, I think there's a scenario that will recreate the Japanese advance down the Malay Peninsula. We have uh, French Indochina and Siam. Uh, there will be some scenarios that will cover the Burmese campaign. Um, we do have Ceylon, the Japanese right there, early in the war. And then we move, um, let's see, we've got the, Bur uh, the Burma Road, which keeps supplies open for the Chinese. And then we've got the, the Chinese front. Um, some major sittings. We've got Shanghai, Nanking, um, infamous for the famous uh, pillaging and raping, a killing of tens of thousands of um, civilians. We've got the Yellow River here, which, which it was actually purposely flooded by the nationalists as they were falling back. The subsequent flood killed um, upwards to a million people. It's hardly mentioned in Western sources. And then uh, we've got uh, Formosa, uh, now known as Taiwan. And then we pull up to the sort of home islands. We've got Okinawa. And then we've got um, Tokyo here, Osaka. Um, and then Korea. And obviously we've got the border with the USSR, but um, they're not in the game, so that doesn't really factor too much in there but uh, they included it uh, geographically um, yeah Philip Philippine Sea and then uh, I don't think Leyte Gulf is specifically mentioned um, but or, or, or labeled no actually it is there it is Leyte um, obviously the the large naval battle that happened there so that is the map um, I won't go too much into the details obviously uh, these are naval and air bases, and I think these red ones are has something to do with the strategic value of it. Um, and then uh, I think these are obviously uh, the the different stars are um, these are at least Chinese cities. And I think there's different nationalities, and they have influence on this on the strategic initiative. Again, I'm not uh, the best authority on this right now; still just learning the game, but. While I am perusing uh, the rules um, and sorting the counters and punching them and looking over the map, I you know, just sort of uh, wanted to share and document the journey here. So this is a brief look at the map. Um, I think it's gorgeous. Uh, it covers a lot of ground. Um, some of the distances um, you can already uh, kind of tell with some of the strategic decisions. So a lot of the air units will have um, ranges on them. And I think the bombers, the long range bombers for the Americans, the longest they have is 26. And you have to consider um, round, um, round trip distances. So really to bomb, say like the Japanese home islands, uh, you have to be within 13 um, hexes. So even if let's say you take Tinian, I mean, let's count that out. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Tinian's just out of range, so you obviously can see why they um, would seize Iwo Jima or why they would seize Okinawa. And obviously, with much of the Japanese still occupying uh, the coasts of China, they don't aren't necessarily in a position to to land large bomber formations there. So I can already kind of tell, and you know, I don't, don't want to doubt Mark Herman, but he's they, he's done his research and he knows that the, the map is going to reflect the features in the map are going to reflect the um, the real world strategic implications of the geography, um, and where suitable air and naval bases um, can be found and built. So anyway, again, that was just a brief look at the uh, Pacific War map. Uh, so if you're still watching, um, thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you guys on the next one.